Hi, welcome to the Intervention Channel. My name is Steve Bruno. Today's subject is getting started, getting going. Uh, I actually, you know, wanted to make a, its own little video about this subject because it is ironic to me uh, that, oh, by the way, I, some of you may notice I'm, uh, you know, I'm in a hotel room. Uh, I am in a hotel room. Uh, I'm actually on an intervention right now. This is what I do. So I'm trying to save this guy from <laughs> fentanyl and meth and he's doing black tar heroin and speed and everything else under the sun. And his mother just gave him a BMW and of course just recently before I arrived gave him a thousand dollars cash because that's her solution. So those are the kinds of situations that I untangle. Um, anyway, all right, getting to the subject. Getting started, it is ironic to me that families often have the same problem that the addict they're trying to help has, in a sense, that they're trying to get the addict to arrive at a program, right? And the addict is having trouble getting started. He doesn't want to pack. Maybe he wants to get help, but he's you know, next week, next month, after this, after that, I have a job interview, blah, blah, blah. He has all these excuses. Well, the family wants to get started on an intervention, but they have a vacation they have to go on. Well, maybe he has a court date he has to go to. We don't know what to do about that. Uh, you know, my husband has second thoughts about it. What if it fails, blah, 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 blah. They can't get started. And if, if, it's like they say, you can't win if you don't play, right? If you are uh, walking by a casino and you think, well, I've got this silver dollar. Um, it's one of my last dollars. And I'm not, I'm just afraid to lose it. So I'm not gonna go in and play. Meanwhile, there's a woman sitting right in front of you, right? You know all the the uh, slot machines at the front of the casino. Bing, 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 bing. And she's sitting there. And silver dollars are pouring out. The only difference between her and you is that she's playing. She started. I am amazed at how when we start, I start working with a family Providence comes to visit, right? I'm not talking about, you can look at it however you want, luck, coincidence, providence, uh, the hand of some supreme being, whatever. Uh, but it is amazing that the, all the fears, many of the fears that the family has about doing the intervention don't ever come to pass. Um, the whole question, what if we fail? must be replaced with, what if we succeed? What if we win? What if he goes into treatment and it works out and he gets his life back and becomes happy or lives a, lives a life that matters or whatever. I mean, gets responsible again and has a life. So if you're gonna do it, do it. If you're gonna sit around, well, what if we fail? Then just cut bait, okay, move on. Don't do it. But if you're gonna do it, do it, start. If you need to call me or some other interventionist as a professional, if you have a very low chance of success, hire a professional. Don't go in and make a fuck all mess and then call me or somebody else and say, well, we've wiped half of your pieces off the board. We pretty much knew that was gonna happen. How are you gonna win the game? How are you gonna succeed? Hmm? It's like, well, I was gonna succeed by you not fucking me up before I arrived or, you know, screwing up, not me, but the situation. I had a family try and strong arm this guy into the, into the car to get him into the program before I got there. Of course he wouldn't meet with me. I mean, I got him in, eventually I did meet with him, but initially he was terrified. <laughs> he, was, he wouldn't even sit next to me at the cafe. He was sat at the table next to me. He said, I'm not sitting anywhere near you. His family had literally tried to strong arm him into the program. So if you need to hire a pro, hire a pro. There's more about this in the video, hiring a professional. If you don't need to hire a professional, if you have a very good chance of success, then get the fuck going. Start. 
If somebody in your family is wavering, either handle them or work around them. Okay, don't let somebody else's apathy uh, or ignorance or fear get in your way. If you know the right thing to do is to get the guy into treatment, his life may be on the line, or a situation where he may become homeless or whatever, go, start, help the guy. If you need a pro, hire a pro. You know, but get going. It's important. Uh, I know you have a lot of fear. I know your client, if you're a professional, your client has fear. The most important thing to doing an intervention is starting the intervention, right? Otherwise, what is there? Okay, I think enough said. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll see a next video. Click on that, learn some more. There's a subscribe button, especially if you're a professional. You wanna subscribe uh, so that you can know when uh, new videos come out. You can flow those to your other professionals and your potential clients. Um, if you'd like to read more about me or call me or write to me, whatever, you can go to stevebruno.com. You can buy my book, More Than Hope, on amazon.com. There's a link below. If you have a question, you can also put it in the comments section so that everybody can see the answer. Um, and uh, I hope you're you know, getting uh, some benefit from the Intervention Channel. And uh, my name is Steve Bruno. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Yeah.